Alright, how's it going everyone? This is Tom bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Tree gameplay today and it seems that every time I upload a commentary it seems to have to say exactly the same words which are I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video for a while and yet again it appears to be the same thing I haven't uploaded a commentary for a good week and a half now and I'm sorry about that yet again but it really has been a very very busy few weeks now I know I touched on my last video my last you know, proper commentary that I was um, planning on restarting university, and yes, that is the case. I have not decided to change my mind at the last minute again, like I am so accustomed to doing. I'm actually going to university. I've been going to university for the last week and a half, and that is the reason it's been so busy. It's been a lot of adjustment, a lot of uh, getting things sorted out, but I'm finally um, able to bring you guys a uh, Call of Duty video today. I've, had, I've actually been playing a fair amount of Call of Duty, but I don't know, just commentary hasn't really been on my mind. Um, as much, and I feel a little bit bad because I very much enjoyed it in commentaries, and I'm, I'm especially happy to be back. And today, I want to quickly touch on the gameplay. Uh, this is, an, as you can see, an arc—I can't talk properly—an arcaden free-for-all, flawless MOA. But I think it only lasts about two and a half minutes. This game it was very one-sided, to say the least. But I quickly wanted to touch on this map. I absolutely re revolt, disgust, hate this map. I am terror. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's because the map's bad or it's just because I'm really bad at it. I just never seem to get uh, mobs on it, and this is like the first free for all mob I've ever had on arcade, and so I thought I'd uh, bring it to you. I actually got it today, and. Um I was actually exceptionally frustrated with the game today, like normal, and uh, usually what happens with me is that um, the only way I can kind of get rid of my frustration is by getting a MOAB or a nuke or whatever, and uh, thankfully I got the MOAB and I was able to uh, turn off the Xbox straight after that. You know, as soon as I get the MOAB, if I'm frustrated, I get a MOAB and I turn off the Xbox, because then I'm feeling in a reasonably good mood and I can continue my daily business in a bit of a better mood. That's kind of how uh, gaming works for me these days, and I'm not the kind of player you know, who plays to, you know, kill people. I play to get 25 kill streaks, unfortunately, but yeah, arcade is never really a good map for me but I kind of tried this little tactic where I stay at the back end of the map always stay in close quarter situations and use overpowered guns like you see me do here but before this video ends and yes it is a very very quick video I may even plonk a second gameplay over it I did want to talk about uh, you know where I've been and what I've been up to because it's been a lot of adjustment like I said um, I'm going to Leiden University at the moment I'm studying political sciences which is and a very interesting course very interested in uh, the topic itself and um, obviously there's a very broad topic you know political science there's a lot to uh, discuss a lot to teach and uh, but it's more generally the uh, the general atmosphere and getting used to the university because it is a Dutch university it's all taught in Dutch um, I think I, I will be able to write my papers in English but it's just generally like you know um, how do you say that writing yourself in for the courses and enrolling for my courses you have to like I don't know you have to sign up for all the uh, in all these websites and get a new like mail program you have to get like this uh, new program called blackboard which is uh, basically software which uh, where they like update you on all the goings on and uh, what you should be doing and things like that i will plonk a second gameplay over this and um, i think what it will be is uh, uh, it says other one for three gameplay it's on lockdown uh, where i uh, i'm very unfortunate let's just put it that way i'll let you watch out the video it's not the most well it's a very entertaining gameplay again again a lot of uh, fast paced action it's actually a game of uh, sabotage with the juggernaut version whatever it's called i can't even remember what it's called but it's quite an entertaining gameplay, it's about four and a half minutes, but I did want to touch quickly on, uh, you know, my uh, university stories so far, which have been, uh, it's a very short conversation, let's put it that way, it might already be over, but uh, in any case, haven't really been, uh, getting out to too much social life kind of things. I missed the Freshers Week, unfortunately, as you already may know, but it's really been more about getting into the, you know, the lectures and getting used to the whole idea of uh, university. I've been enjoying it, I have to say. I've been enjoying getting out and, um, you know, going through a new experience. Some of the people uh, I'm with are very cool people, and uh, generally, uh, you know, when you go to university, you uh, study a certain course you're interested in. You're always getting put with uh, people that have the same interests and things, so I'm very happy about that, and so far, uh, things are going well, but yeah, I've just had to, you know, been enrolling in so many stupid things I've had to get my student finances sorted which is obviously the most uh, frustrating part of being a student is uh, the financial problems that you face which there will be many of uh, luckily the uh, Dutch universities are not too expensive but that does not really stop me uh being relatively low on cash at the moment I don't have very much uh, money saved up in the bank account so it's going to be a lot um a lot less going out, a lot less uh, money spent on alcohol than I would have uh, preferred, but I'm sure that'll come when I start getting my, uh, you know, when I get a job and uh, when I start earning some money again, which will hopefully be very soon in the next couple of weeks when I uh, get my uh, 
my shit sorted out, I've got to actually do a paper, um, which is due on the 25th of September, so it's still quite a while away, but it's a 1,000 word kind of paper, and I'm not, I'm still not entirely sure how I'm supposed to write it, and um, it's a lot of, you know, thinking going on, oh, there's a lot to read, guys, like, you have to read so many books and things like that, which is uh, a little uh, frustrating, definitely, but um, anyway, that's pretty much it for university, I guess I should touch on what else has been going on, really, I've had a lot of good things, actually, I know I touched on um, in my previous couple of commentaries back, I think, about dealing with disappointment and disappointment appointments in life and fortunately for me it's kind of taken a turn for the good I uh, redid the Dutch exam which I uh, unfortunately failed and I got really good grades for that um, I didn't take any chances on that exam didn't really study all too much but I took the exam very seriously and ended up getting very good grades I even managed to pass the writing exam and uh, yes, considering that I can't write in Dutch I was pretty happy with that <laughs> not sure what the examiners were uh, smoking but clearly they were smoking something that makes you feel very good and uh, they gave me a good mark so I'm very happy about that um, I also actually got to the final of a tennis tournament the other week uh, I didn't win because, because I don't know the guy was better than me. But I won 50 euros. Yes, I won some money, and uh, money is good. I remember in the semi-finals, all I was thinking about was getting to the final because that would guarantee me 50 euros. So I was absolutely delighted when I won that match. I remember I was, I, I'd almost won the match, and uh, I started losing a little bit, and I was getting extremely frustrated. Like, I was going mad because I wanted that money. Like, I know it's uh, a little bit. Um, perhaps over the top to get so happy about, you know, a little bit of money, but 50 euros for me is a fair amount, and uh, it has definitely helped me out a lot, uh, that 50 euros, I did need that very, very badly this couple of weeks, um, for many reasons, of course, but in any case, that's pretty much all i got to say, really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplays, the commentaries, I'm not exactly sure where we are at this gameplay right now, because I haven't even incorporated it into Sony Vegas yet, but, you know, hopefully it's a, a decent gameplay, and what else can I talk about? Probably nothing at all, really, I don't really have much else to talk about, I suppose I could go on to talking about some random stuff like the meaning of life or whatever but i'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay probably plonk some i don't know random music over the end of the gameplay which is a little bit too typical for youtube commentaries these days but whatever i'm going to do it anyway so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the commentary if you did leave a like rating i would very much appreciate that and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel because i could do some subscribers i haven't really been getting too many subscribers recently but i don't really care but if you like subscribe then please go ahead and i'll see you guys in the next video bye